Why do I want to work here? How can I make a positive contribution? And how do we make this mutually beneficial? These are incredibly important questions to ask. What do employers want? Wouldn't we all like to know? That's why we sat down with some employers and we asked, what are you looking for when you hire a young person? The young people these days are working, operating in a highly competitive environment. They need a lot more skills than they had before, hard skills. But employers also want you to be the perfect human being. They want you to have good communication skills. They want you at work every day till 8 o'clock. They want, they want, they want. So you have to be a highly functional individual to break into and stay in this labor market. Your place in my company or in any workplace is not guaranteed. We're a small tech startup. We cannot afford to have anybody come onto our team that's just going to sort of sit there and need to be, have their hand held all the time. I want to know that you work hard, that you can be passionate about this, uh, that you demonstrate initiative, um, you know, that you're responsible, that you're accountable. As soon as somebody writes in a CV, I'm going to learn so much, I, I dismiss the CV. Because <laughs> it's unfortunately, and I run a nonprofit, can you imagine a corporation? <laughs> um, you know, you want somebody who comes in who feels like they have something to contribute. Within a minute or two of interviewing a potential candidate, you can get a really clear sense of why that person is in the room. You can get an understanding of whether or not they actually have a genuine interest in what your company does, who your competitors are, what you're looking to achieve, or whether that person is someone who is really just looking for a job. Any job will do. you got to understand how employers think and put yourself in their perspective because every single decision the employer makes is based around three key questions. Number one, will this make us money? Number two, will this satisfy our customers? And number three, is this action in line with our vision, mission, and values? Understand, employers look for people who are truly invested in the success of their organization. So become the kind of person who's going to do everything in their power in order to contribute to these three key factors. So when you're in job seeking mode, and you're young and inexperienced and competing against candidates who are a lot more qualified than you, show that you genuinely care and are legitimately interested in the businesses you are applying to because being the right fit is your best advantage. One of the things I'll often do is I'll hand me a resume and I'll take a look at it and I'll hold it up to them and I'll say, is this you? And they look at it like this, they go, no. Dramatic, but the re I'd say half the people will look at it and say, that's not me. Well, you're already in trouble because I want to know who you are. I want to know if you fit with me, right? So show me you. If I had two people, one had more skills um, or was better at a certain skill than the other person, but this person had the better cultural fit, I'm hiring this person because that person's going to stay longer, that person's going to try harder, that person's going to fit in and make my team better. Um, this other person is not. You know, a lot of graduates have the skill set, but they don't have that attitude and that personality, and that really is the one thing that you can't train. People who are willing to maybe take a, a volunteer job or a summer, in, a summer internship and do all of these horrible jobs that we make our summer, summer students do and still have a great attitude, that's what we're looking for. We won't take the one that has the, the best uh, uh, technical resume. We're going to take the one that we know is a good communicator, is adaptable, right? and can actually engage. That, to us, that is, that's really the gold standard that we look for. And I would say a lot of companies look for exactly that. Relevant experience, honed skills, positive attitude, passion for your industry, employers expect a lot from the people they hire. So what should you focus on? DNA. Drive, nature, and acumen. Drive is the engine and motivation. Your employer shouldn't have to tell you to get up and move because you're already up and moving. Be a ball of energy. 
Employers look for people who have set themselves personal, professional, or educational goals and are prepared to do what it takes to overcome any challenges that are going to get in the way of achieving those goals. Loads of people in the world have ambition. Every 20 year old wants to be a millionaire. But do you have the willingness to dig deep and do what it takes to get there? The next thing an employer looks for is nature. Do people want to work with you? Are you on time? Are you well presented? Are you emotionally intelligent enough to have empathy so that you can understand where you are in any specific situation and read a room? Furthermore, you need to understand what your manager wants from you, understand what your clients want from you, and understand what your peers want from you, so you can really be someone that people want to do business with. The final thing employers look for is acumen. It's about becoming an expert. You need to understand your company, what it does, how it does it, who your customers are, what they're trying to do. You need to understand everyone within the organization and what they do. You need to understand the industry, the competition, and become a true expert in whatever you decide to do. Your road as a young person may change a couple of times, but don't wait to find something you love to become an expert at. It. Become an expert at everything you do, and it will open up doors for you for something else. Remember DNA. Employers look for drive, the engine, nature, the willingness for people to want to do business with you, and acumen, the ability to become an expert at something. Embody this, and you will outperform everyone else. When talking with employers, you always want to strive for reciprocity. These conversations are a two-way street. In the end, you want to make sure that this job and employer are right for you and vice versa.